Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card, and this is Libra Energy. So this is a card of balance, truth. Um, there could be some sort of justice or karmic rewards that you're getting here. Someone could be apologizing to you, or some this could be involving some sort of legal matter here. But there's definitely an energy of, you know, the scales being balanced and justice happening here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups, Water Energy. The Three of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. So there is definitely an energy of a new beginning here or an apology with this Ace of Cups. Someone is extending themselves to you. Um, there's, it's like this is something you've been waiting for. With the Three of Wands, it's like you've been patient here. There's this feeling of your ships coming in. It's like waiting, but knowing that it's coming. It's like waiting, expecting something to happen with that Three of Wands, and it is happening here. Um, whatever this offer is it could be an apology it could be a begin a new beginning here it's leading towards a partnership and it looks like it can be an official partnership like um a, a commitment or an official relationship you know someone is actively choosing you with that lover's energy they're making up their mind they're seeing this connection as something they want to choose and pursue they're seeing it as you know like a higher level of commitment that they want with you okay so let's clarify these cards for us Okay, we have the Emperor, and this is Aries energy. So this is a card of someone who is, again, it's like they want stability with you. Um, this person could have been very prideful in the past, or they could have been very controlling, but there's a bit of a my way or the highway type of energy about them in the past, and it could have actually led to a lot of problems for the connection. And it does look like you may have stood your ground against this person, and they are now coming towards you with a different energy. There's an apologetic energy, um, a humbled energy here. There's also, again, that energy of compassion from them to you. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune, fixed sign energy, the Seven of Wands, fire energy, and we have the Four of Swords, air energy. Yeah, this could be someone you went, you took a break from with that Four of Swords. You could have taken time out, um, you know, kind of just like you asserted your boundaries when it came to this person. You were, you fought back. You gave them a bit of some pushback and they respect you for it. So there's an energy here of someone who's coming towards you, a changed person or just with a changed energy. And it's changed in terms of it's for the better. Like, it's like this person is kind of surrendering control of it in the situation because they are seeing that you're someone who they love and they care for, and they, they're they not someone who they would want to lose, you know, especially not because of their pride or ego. So there is definitely a humbled energy on their side here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Taurus. So we have the time for healing, balsamic moon. So you could be currently separated. You could be healing from something that happened between you and this person. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Okay, 
Okay, we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So someone does believe you are their true love. And there's, again, it's like humbling themselves for this. It's like, to them, it's worth it. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. We have power and healing. To get what you love, you first have to be patient with what you have. So this is someone who doesn't want to miss out on this with you. They don't want you know, someone else. You know, there's this feeling of willing to fight for you, willing to fight for the connection they have with you. Okay, so I'm going to plot a card for your advice, um, Taurus. We have surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone else. Then offer a clear non-defensive response. Okay, so someone is approaching you with this, just this energy coming towards you honestly, very direct. And there's a message here about, because you may have defended yourself from this person in the past. Perhaps you were in a more defensive energy because you felt like, you had to protect yourself. Like you felt like this person was a bit of a threat to you in the past, but they are coming towards you with a different energy this time. And that same defensiveness may not be appropriate this time around. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.